What is it like to hoop in prison? I got you today. But when you got nobody to turn to, just hold on and I'll find you. Just fight a little longer, my friend. It's so worth it in the end. But when you got nobody to turn to, just hold on. All the guys are pulling in right now. We'll see how it goes tonight. Trace, your first time going in, bro? First time, first time. Okay. Breaking them in today. He'll be fine though, but. <laughs> right. T, how many times you going in with us? About three, four. Cone, he's a vet. Four, three, Round two, man. Yeah. He's a vet. He's ready to go. T, what you got for me, bro? Hey, baby. What are we about season, to do? Season two, man. I told them all, just give me the ball, get out of my way. Got your just win? Just kidding. Nah. You got your win? <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah, ain't going to roll all just that too. In. Just give me the ball, bro. Yeah. Get out of my way. Yeah. Trey, rebound for me, baby. I, I need you to get at least 16. Right, Head it in I'm, now. I'm Let's get it. The experience of entering into a prison is very unique. I'm passing through the first set of bars and then just hearing the bars close. And you get that feeling and that sense that, okay, we're here. Now, the unique thing about Kentucky State Prison, I remember the first time we ever went, we're maybe about 100 yards from the prison gym, and I can hear some music in the background. Like, I hear the beat. Hey, bro, you hear that? It sounds like Snoop Dogg. We walk up to the gym, and they have, like, a sound system blaring, mixing Snoop Dogg and Lecrae. Uh, it was really funny. And I'll never forget, right before we walked into the gym doors, it was packed out with inmates. I told Terrence, him being our seven footer, I was like, okay T, you gotta walk in the door first. And it was almost like a scene out of a movie. When Terrence walked in the gym, all of the inmates, about 500 of them, turned around. And then there was three or four guys running around taking bets on the game. And then everybody started changing their bets. That the, <laughs> They started betting on us to win when they saw Terrence. There's a little side room that we go to and we get dressed in there. And we usually have like Mark Singleton, our coach, or one of the guys do a quick devotional and then we gather together and uh, we pray right before we go out. I've run through tunnels in a stadium in front of 55,000 people. I've been in different arenas around the world. Of course, Friday night high school basketball, but there is no feeling like with our Hoops for Christ team, our brothers running on to the court at a prison in front of all inmates. The players are inmates, the score keepers, the refs, uh, all, the, all the fans, obviously, and then there's usually just a couple correction officers with us. It's amazing. It's hard to describe. I know some people who actually serve in time, committed to this grind, or just committed some crime. Sometimes I wish I had some more time to think, and all the time in the world is all the time I need. And I know eternity's calling, but my mind too busy racing. Okay, with the game being the night before, I wanted us to sit down on Saturday after we got done training in the gym, me, Terrence, and Antonio, and just kind of recap the game from the night before. I hope you guys enjoy this. So we finished the game, we got the win. We are now 10 and 0, right, Tim? Yeah, we've had some close calls. Talk about know. this pick and roll, where I Woo! came off the pick and roll, he did it so hit the hey, he and the no look, he and then, so, what you so doing, bro? Did it so me, yo, I went up. Did, 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 you get, did you get the extension? You gotta go. You gotta, yeah. Uh, uh, yam. No, Drop look, the it Thor was, hammer. It was pretty. Listen, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but I, hey, the way I was always taught is to always have your hands ready so you don't drop the pass. This guy doesn't pass. So, but I had to be ready. They're in prison already. How are you gonna dunk on them and then send them back to their cell like that, bro? <laughs> I had to give them something exciting to, to see, man. That's what they asked for. They said, hey, man, we need something exciting to watch. So Trey, he was the first one to start it yeah, off. Trey, He's the one who got us Trey's all bouncing. Because, hey, if it wasn't for Trey, Tone wouldn't have dunked. I wouldn't have dunked. I finished with about 12. This guy had about mm, 40. But it's okay. <laughs> hey, hey. He Look, had, you're talking had, about individual <laughs> stats. <laughs> I'm saying, how much did we as a team oh, score, bro? Oh, oh my oh, gosh. You know what? You're right. It's, he had about, uh, what, 130 to 89? No, we were like 134, 135. Oh, you hearing this? Listen. <laughs> sometimes these inmates, man, you can tell how alone they get sometimes, so they need that excitement. Tone, <laughs> he shot the lane, man. He got the he got the fast break. And all of a sudden, they stop at the volleyball line waiting to see what this guy was going to do. He's like, it sees what he's going to do. Like, is he going to dunk that for real? I want to see this. They didn't even want to play defense. We did it, man. Went into a hostile environment. We got the win. The crowd was going crazy. 
T was over there tripping out. Phil was tripping out with the ball. <laughs> doing, doing dribbling moves and tricks. <laughs> the guy who was guarding me, number 15, they went man to man. I said, oh, they going man to man? Where, where did he make the mistake though, Phil? Where did he make the and mistake? And he said, yeah, we going man to man. I got that dog D for you. <laughs> I got that grown man D. Hold on, hold on. Before you give me your advice, tell me what was your face when he said that, though? Was this? Was you, you, know, you know what my face was? I was like, oh, he wants it? Give, me give, give it to you him. You reeled off about 15 in a row. And you had at least at least four threes. At Dang. least four threes. What was funny, though, is that last step back three. Oh, my God. Then they subbed him out. <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> hey, bro, you yeah. got to sub him out. <laughs> I, I swear. Listen, you don't last long, man. Yeah, you know, you know exactly. You know what it was, man. He must not have been listening to uh, what's his name, uh, Coach Mark, man. Hand down, man down. the man's down. Tone saw me get one, and me and Tone, see, we're Team Low Rise. <laughs> we don't rise high no more. We good with that. You know what I'm saying? The Jelly Fan. So, you I'm Team know. No Rise. Man. <laughs> team That's no the rise. case. I'm Team No Rise on that. Then. Turn the lights off. Ain't nobody watching me. Prison is a very dark place. I think recently there was an article, and I know it was all over the news, about a man that was stabbed over 30 times in this specific prison. So I'm always trying to keep those things in mind that when I come in and I speak to them and I've got that moment and attention with them, that I don't just fool around. You know, that I, that I can say something by the grace of God that will pierce into their heart. And my hopes is that when we play basketball, you know, we've never lost, we get their respect, but we use that opportunity to that respect what we do, that we come in, that we take the time to invest in them, and then boom, we hammer home the gospel. Those guys in prison, they're relating the same thing is that they're just thinking, I'm just trying to survive to the next day in prison, a lot of them. In a dark place, some of them I'm sure feel extremely hopeless, but the harsh reality is, is that none of us will survive one day. 100% of us one day will face death. In that reality, the only true hope in this life is in Christ. So regardless of what situation you're in, whether you're living a good life on the outside, whether you're a prisoner on the, on the inside, whatever that might be, that we all are sinners and that we're all in need of that grace. God is called the hound of heaven that he'll literally hunt people out. He'll send a basketball team into prison to reach people in there, to still minister to them, to let them know that he's not forgotten them. And that's really the role that I feel like we play with Hoops for Christ and our prison team as we go in there and we're trying to bring them hope through the game of basketball. I tell you what, man, the one thing I saw from all of that is, you know, they received you all well, man. And that's the, that's the beautiful thing about going in these prisons in the first place is, is to truly get out the gospel, man. And you all really, you know, brought that fire, man, especially with your testimony. Yeah, the fact that I almost died. And I, uh, that brought even I started more fire out with the Cadillac the that I, <laughs> I lost that my Cadillac. That brought even more fire to your, uh, your, to your, uh, your sermon that you was bringing, man. So it was just a beautiful time, man. Like you almost had me tearing up, bro. I was like, oh my God, my best friend almost died, bro. Okay, let me stop it right there. What Terrence is talking about is on Friday before our game, just about literally three or four hours before the game, my car caught on fire while I was driving down the highway. I was on my way to train in another team and there was fire within the compartment right underneath my dash steering wheel. I was very fortunate. So I pulled off the highway and literally within 60 to 90 seconds, my entire car was up in flames. As you can see, it melted the entire console. And that was my beloved Cadillac, and, um, but God is good. I I'm alive, I'm here. I actually wasn't gonna come to the game, but I knew that I needed to be there, uh, both just mentally, I wanted to get my mind off of what had just happened and, and how fortunate I was. Uh, but also I wanted to be there for the guys. I wanted to stay faithful to the mission. Uh, Will Richards, he texts me, this fire can be a testimony. And I used it as a testimony when I went in. L listen, and as it was going on, this kid right here, you know what he said? He said, I thought about two things, <laughs> getting the flyers for our camp <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and getting our balls. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we played Friday night in the prison. The next morning we had to get up. We had six more hours in the gym and we're running a league evaluation for a local church. So me and Terrence, we were there early, training about 200 players, taking them through an evaluation. I'll give you a quick look at that. Where, where are we at right now? Yo, bro, we're at Little Flock right now, man, doing these evaluations right now. Pretty fun time, but the grind is not I'm trying to remember the way. I'm trying to get back to my own. But I can't do this on my own. That's why I'm just trusting in you. Because I don't know where else to go. And I don't know what else to do. No, don't let the fear make you feel like you can't find. So even though our Hoops for Christ team has a lot of former pro players, and we got a really good squad, these prison teams are actually really tough. They're really good. Obviously, they're super scrappy. You can imagine uh, the referees are inmates, so they're not, <laughs> they're not really giving us any calls either because they got to go back in and deal with everybody else in prison. So it's a very physical game. We haven't lost yet, but we take it really serious. We've almost lost a few of them. Like They've been really close where we had to pull it out in the last few minutes. Me and T always come up with all these ideas for uh, the prison games and our game plan, and we get really serious about it. And then we actually get in the game, and this is kind of what ends up happening. But this, guy, this game right here is a mental game. It's 90% mental, 10% physical. Different concepts, different defensive concepts. So basically what he's saying is that the smartest thing possible to do is to set me a ball screen and let me get buckets. Chill out, man. This guy over here, just like this. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? Hey, T, go get that rebound, boy. <laughs> get that rebound, boy. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Thank you again for watching vlog number four. If you enjoy the content, share it. Share it with other people. Write me a comment below and make sure you subscribe. Coming back at you every Friday. God bless.